Hello and welcome to Spreadco's PM video update for Thursday the 27th of April. We've just had the ECB rate decision and Mario Draghi's press conference. In it there were no real surprises. The ECB kept its headline minimum bid rate unchanged at 0%, which is where it's been since this time last year. It also kept its discount rate, uh, which is what it charges banks and financial institutions if they actually want to lodge funds with the ECB. ECB itself, it charges them 0.4% uh, per annum and he kept that unchanged as well. Uh, most importantly of course we have the bond purchase program and at the moment that's running at 60 billion euros per month and it's going to continue in its present form uh, certainly until the end of 2017 and Mr Draghi in the, in the governing council statement made it quite clear as he has done before that should situations warrant it, in other words situations turn worse, then the ECB stands ready to extend the duration and even the size of that bond pri uh, purchase program if required. So, I mean, this, this is kind of the standard stuff. Um, there was some talk yesterday that the ECB might talk about uh, reducing its bond purchase program, but even, even then that was really, it was a question of would they hint at doing that um, later in the year, maybe next, next meeting or the, uh, or the meeting after that. So this is a very standard statement. But then we got on to uh, Mario Draghi's uh, press conference and we got to you know, understand a little bit more of his thinking and the thinking of the governing council itself. Um, a number of things came out of this. First of all, uh, the ECB is quite upbeat on the growth situation across the Eurozone. Uh, it mentioned, Draghi mentioned PMIs improving, or the overall outlook improving on that count. This sent the Euro higher initially, uh, not by a great deal, but you know, up about, about uh, 0.4 or something like that, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Um, however, then he really turned his attention to uh, in, in the inflation outlook and of course this is really what the ECB is all about. They always talk about price stability and inflation is really uh, what the ECB has to concentrate on. Mr. Mario Draghi said himself it's not growth that we look at, it's inflation uh, that we look at. And on this he was um, a bit, you know, uh, less upbeat let's say. He really said that uh, the situation, uh, although in inflation was ticking up, going in the right direction, he didn't see it as being sustainable yet, and he didn't see the signs that there was going to be a sustainable increase in inflation to get up to the ECB's preferred target just under 2%. Uh, last month, uh, in March, March we, uh, inflation came in at an annualised rate of 1.5%. Remember, this is the, the headline figure which includes food and energy. The core rate is nearer 0.5%. Uh, now, Mr Draghi said that they anticipate this uh, headline inflation rate going up uh, a little bit in April, so maybe 1.6, possibly 1.7, that would be quite a big jump. But he said that after that he sees it as, uh, as topping out there until the year end. So you know, even if it comes in at 1.7% annualised from now and the rest of the year, that's still some way below that target, which suggests that um, it, you know, this monetary stimulus uh, that, that the ECB is engaging in could go on for a bit longer. And that saw the, um, the euro sell off quite high, uh, quite um, swiftly and it was uh, at the time uh, of speaking now it's down at about sort of 108.50 against the dollar. So that's that. Uh, the other thing that Mario Draghi uh, was asked about was uh, w what would the effect of um, what was what was the effect on the ECB's thinking vis-à-vis uh, -vis the uh, US, uh, the French presidential election and the fact that Macron looked like favourite to win. He was saying absolutely no comment uh, that the uh, the ECB talks about policies but not politics. And um, so that was really that from that point of view. A few other things to consider now uh, as well, because today, just changing the subject, we had a pretty poor durable goods figure from the US, and tomorrow we have the first look at first quarter GDP. Now this is going to be quite an important number. Um, bear in mind, last uh, quarter, so the fourth quarter of 2016, came in at plus 2.1% annualised. And I think the call now for this quarter is something around the region of yeah, 1.3%, uh, again, annualised. So first quarter GDP, 1.3% annualised. However, uh, there's a very... Um, interesting bit of tracking data produced by the Atlanta Federal Reserve and they look at sort of they put all the various inputs uh, going into the GDP figure they reckon that the first quarter GDP come in uh, could come in as low as 0.5 percent.
Now, if it does do that, I think the market will explain it away, saying, well, that's a backward-looking figure, that's in the past, we're looking forward to fu uh, the future, we've had better earnings, a better situation maybe politically, and the first quarter is always a bit, um, a bit dodgy. Um, Maybe, but maybe, maybe not. So we've just got to keep a very close eye on what happens tomorrow, and just bear in mind that the S&P and the Dow have had a couple had a, a couple of attempts, most notably yesterday, uh, to break about uh, above their old March highs. That's 2,400 for the S&P, 21,100 for the Dow. They failed to do that. So a little bit of an upset with the hard data coming through, and you know maybe we get a bit of a pullback.